Welcome to Cloudos! For this video, I found this cat doll head to print it. I have this body from Bonita Femur. I love the details on the body, it's amazing, but the neck is broken. A lot of dolls that I have, Bonita Femur, I think it's something with the neck, it's very fragile. I think it's a great opportunity to use and give it second life and love to this doll. I'm gonna use this embroidery also and this yarn. The color is gonna be turquoise, gold, persic. I have to attach the resin cat head to the Bonita Femur body. So I'm gonna use a scrub that I'm gonna cut the end of it. I'm gonna insert it in my drill and I'm gonna attach it directly to the resin head. And then the other side, I'm gonna attach it in the neck of the Monster High doll. I use a little bit of uh, super glue, but now I'm gonna make it more stable with my epoxy clay, two parts, A and B that I'm gonna mix together and with a silicone tool and water I give it the shape that I want it and I make a strong connection between both of them I let it dry for 24 hours and I spray two layers of acryl paint skin color to start my transformation I give two layers of Mr. Super Clear, let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes, always using the mask, don't forget about it. And with my watercolor pencils and my soft pastels, I can start it. I'm gonna start it blushing the body. I'm using Persic Browns Gold colors for her body. If you want to know the material that I use, you can always check my description box below. With a light brown watercolor pencil, I start sketching the face of my doll. I want to give her gold eyes and gold accents. I imagine her a cat queen with a, a lot of mystic effects around it. I give her a shadow of turquoise soft pastel in the forehead. And of course, I have to give her cat eyes also. And I'm gonna give her also some details of shaman, mystic in her face. That's how I imagine her.
This face have around four layers. Now in the last layer, I'm gonna give it the gold details with a tiny brush and gold acryl paint. I'm going to paint the nails in gold. And with white acryl, I give it the eye catches. I also painted the panties in gold acryl. This doll is going to be available on my Etsy shop. If you think you need a, a special cat queen, she's going to be there. I sealed my work with the last layer of Mr. Super Clear. And now it's time to start the hair. I love this yarn. You don't have to brush it. You just have to pull it. Just pull pieces of it. And I glue it directly with hot glue to the head. Colors are vibrant and shiny. It's amazing. That's how she's look. Now it's time for the clothes. I found this brown tool also to give it some accents. And I found this tutu that I made two years ago for another project that didn't work out. That I'm gonna use finally. I'm gonna give her an upper skirt with the embroidery ribbon. Then I'm gonna cut it around the design. And I'm gonna finish with some gold beads. And now with some pins I go around the tutu skirt and I sew it by hand. For the top I'm gonna use the bottom part of the same embroidery ribbon. I'm going to attach it in the back side with a snap button. Now that the skirt is ready, I'm going to finish her with this dark grey satin ribbon around the waist that I'm going to sew it by hand. The top I give it the same thing, but I decorate it with some stones and beads with the same colors, turquoise and gold and browns, greens also. I'm 
gonna finish the top attaching this metal gold color necklace I'm gonna sew him directly on the top I finish him with the same gold bead in the front side and then on the edges I'm gonna attach the same gold bead with UV resin that I let it cure under the UV lamp for 19 seconds The crown I found it in a dollar shop it's perfect the colors and it's perfect for her but she was a key holder so I have to cut it this part with my Dremel you have to be very careful I'm using an security glasses for her head I also give her a detail of a gold moon that I attach it with some UV resin the shoes are printed the flat shoe space on my 3D printer and I'm gonna give her two layers of this turquoise acryl paint and I'm gonna finish them with some high glossy varnish a gold ribbon and a gold flower like this I want to give her some tattoos also I'm using gold nail tattoos nail art is perfect for dolls and now it's time to finish her with some doll eyelashes I'm using black color and tacky glue I also decorated her with some chains And it's time to finish the face with a high glossy acryl varnish on her lips and eyes. And our cat queen is ready. Are you ready to see her? I love her. As usual, I always love my dolls, but it's a good sign. I want to thank everyone that is walking with me in this journey of doll customizer. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell button, like it and share it and help my channel to grow up. I leave you with our cat queen and I see you on my next video. Bye! Thank you.